Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Laura and Mike, who you may know better as Bunny and Fox. With special thanks to Mike Spark and Valenrug, who both helped sponsor the series. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Phoenix Point. As we continue fumbling our way through trying to save the human race. Speaking of which, last time we uh, inadvertently ended up saving a Sinetrion Haven from certain destruction and ended up destroying our very first alien citadel in the process. The men are exhausted and there's really not much else for us to do out here right now, so we should really start heading back towards base. We've already got the Manticore 2 on its way, but I thought we'd knock out one or two more nodes, just to see if we can drum up some more supplies. Santa Claus is dead. Well, that's, uh... That's a bummer. Uh, the Manticore 1 has landed near an abandoned convoy of six trucks. Our operatives have searched the cargo containers and discovered they were all carrying toys and games for children. <sighs> Alright, guess we'll do one more good deed before we completely turn into monsters. Growing up in this broken world can't be easy. It's our duty to do what we can to make life easier for our children. Yeah, yeah, just don't, don't get used to it. These guys are all going to kill each other anyway. We'll go for one more. Oh, <laughs> high-level ambush at night. Let's do this. Hmm. Well, right off the bat, they're throwing a siren at us. Though, this is actually a pretty weak siren. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got out here. Arthron Gunner. And a Shielded Brawler. Interesting. I think we can actually use this to our advantage. Now we just need to top her off. Repositioning. Fantastic! One free siren. Now, we just have to uh, survive the rest of the ambush. Well, let's knock out that gunner. There we go. Now let's finish him off. Well, 
let's get Eloise over here. His aura will help restore the will on our other two assaults. Oh, and we've got someone on the rooftop. Well, I guess we'd better take care of that. Let's uh, spread out a little. Arms online. Now, this is a risky move, but let's uh, toss Dallin up there. Okay. Looks like a false alarm. This Triton is literally just a support unit. Alright, let's finish off that gunner and set up for reinforcements. to believe that thing's still standing, but it will drop next turn. Melee Triton. Okay, so we do still have threats on the field. The Siren is locked down for the rest of the fight, so we don't have to worry about her. That support Triton is annoying, though, so... Let's start by finishing him off. Right, missed blocks line of sight. That's fine, we can work around that. Just to be sure. Now let's uh, go cover the flank. Hmm. No clean shot at his machine gun. This is going to be tricky. Here we go. Ready. 
ready to fire. <laughs> That's one less thing to worry about. Alright, let's knock this guy out, and then we can focus fire on those crab men. Enemy down! On my way. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty lucky. <laughs> and with good reason. Okay, last couple of opponents are melee based, so... I think we're in pretty good shape here. Oh, not bad. We could uh, definitely use some armor-piercing weapons, though. Nice. Okay, that gives us ample time to finish these guys off. Once we've got Valen in there, he should be able to act as a spotter. Then we can shoot right through the mist. Standing by. There we go. Flanks clear. Comes online. There's one more free captive. Now, we really just need to nickel and dime this guy to death.
Moving to coordinates. Let's find our exit. And here comes the cavalry. That's actually not that bad. A goo launcher or a bomber Chiron really could have complicated things. Ah, and there's our exit. Ready for action. We do need to uh, stay on our guard here. There might be more reinforcements somewhere. Then again, they are working on a point pool, so they might have spent them all on that Chiron. On the move. Let's not use that exploding barrel as cover. Well, I was actually hoping he'd launch some worms at us. We still need some of those autopsies. Comes online. Oh well, let's uh, keep heading for the exit. Let's knock out that barrel, just in case. I'm on my way. Overwatching. Repositioning.
Well, I think it's safe to say that thing won't be launching worms at us, so let's make our exit. Dashing ahead. Sprinting. <laughs> Looks like that's everyone, so I think we're done. He's, uh, he's already left. Standing by. There we go. <laughs> nice work, team. Fantastic. Two level ups and our first siren captive. Okay, that should unlock some new research for us. Siren vivisection and, more importantly, psychic influences. Let's get these added to the queue. Siren vivisection. At last, we have a live specimen of this extraordinary creature for research. This will be key to progress our understanding of the Pandoran thread. Scylla autopsy. Battlefield reports suggest that the Scylla is the apex alien. It is suspected that in addition to the creature's destructive capabilities, it's able to control lesser creatures. A complete autopsy will be able to reveal more. Psychic Influences It has been confirmed that some Pandorans can inflict visions of terror on our soldiers on the battlefield. We should look to capture a Pandoran with this ability and dissect it to find out more about how this works. Which certainly beats dissecting our own priests. All right, our soldiers are thoroughly exhausted, so let's get them back to Player's Handbook. The gate is closed. You have done well, Saxton intones when our operatives return, and you will be rewarded accordingly. But do not think that you are saved merely because you have performed a single task for the dead god. It will take a lifetime of servitude for the sins of your flesh to be erased. God's gate remains closed to you, and may remain so forever. Oh, um, you're welcome. The Reformed hand over the reward, but it's clear that unless we have further business, our operatives should stay away from their leader and only come to the Haven in an emergency. Okay then. The uh, reward's not bad, but I don't think it was worth losing 20 reputation over. Especially since uh, it seems like these guys really want nothing to do with us. Well, no big deal. I'm still glad we did the mission. Let's uh, get our guys back to base. Actually, 
it looks like our current scan is almost done, so... Let's get the Manticore 2 out towards Australia. That'll get us one step closer towards that Synadrion mission. Research complete. Nice. We can now build Goss sniper rifles. Let's get a couple of those in the queue. I would like to get another research lab started, but we don't really have a lot of space to work with right now. Hmm. We'll just do another training facility instead. Lovely. Let's get that new scan started, and then we can regroup. There we go, and uh, now we wait. Let's do some bookkeeping. Now, the first thing I should say here is that I read all your feedback after episode 13, and uh, while I'm not crazy about embracing the really cheeseball tactics, I'll agree we shouldn't completely ignore them. I will make a concession, and we'll go for one level 7 ability on each soldier. We won't abuse them excessively, but we will use them as necessary. In this case, since Yoftar is still a single-class sniper, that means we're going for Marked for Death. Which, uh, honestly, isn't all that powerful, so I don't mind taking that one. Next, we've got Priest, and we can't cross-class him with Technician just yet, but we can start prepping him. And we'll just save the rest of his points. He's going to need 50 for dual classing. Then we've got Valen, who, uh, I'm going to be honest here. I think we'll just avoid Rage Burst entirely. We'll go for Adrenaline Rush instead, which is still powerful, but it's a little more flexible and utilitarian, rather than just deleting whatever you're pointing your gun at. Aside from that, I think we'll pick up a couple of defensive perks. We have given up a lot of armor to boost his accuracy and mobility. Hmm, that is going to start eating into our Phoenix points, but... You know what? That's what we've been saving them for. In fact, we'll probably keep boosting his stats as we gain more points. Hmm. 
The rest of these level ups should be pretty straightforward, so we'll jam through them real quick. Oh, in fact, let's go ahead and give Kazador a shiny new head. You know, I've got to say, that is my least favorite of the priest mutations. I'm not really sold on that psychic scream. But I do want to at least give it a shot. Worst case scenario, we can override it with a new mutation. Oh, uh, obviously, Leroy is sporting some new tentacles. As we've already seen, I get a fair amount of use out of those things. You know what? We've got some points left, so let's grab a new recruit before we head back out. Yeah, that'll work. We can always use more assaults. In fact, I've already got a good idea of who this is going to be. Like I said last time, we've already got Bunny, so it was just a matter of time before Fox came wandering along. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Hmm. So Bunny has the makings of a stealth healer, but Walrond here is more of an assault healer. Interesting. Well, let's get him equipped and dump him in training. Yeah, that should be good enough for now. We'll need to tweak his loadout before field duty, though. Okay, bookkeeping's finished, and new scan in progress. Let's get the A squad out here, start clearing out Australia. Oh, and... Let's get the B squad assembled on Manticore 2. Just in case we need rapid deployment. Thank 
disciples of Kanu Haven is under attack. Really? <laughs> All right, let's have a look here. Well, on the one hand, we're pretty much done with the disciples. We don't really need reputation, but on the other hand, we could use that reward, and it is right next to our base. Besides, I'm pretty sure that'll reveal our first alien layer, so we might as well knock it out. Okay, let's take a moment to prep our squad here. I think we've uh, actually got some new gear to distribute, so let's take care of that. Hmm. Need to get that helmet on someone. Okay, let's do this. And once again, they have dropped us right in the middle of a claustrophobic map. No enemies in sight, so they could be hiding pretty much anywhere. Alright, let's head for this building over here. We could use the elevated perch, and we need to get our backs to the edge of the map. Oh, actually... This building might work even better. It's taller, and it's got railings on the balcony. Yeah, let's head over here instead. Standing by. But before we do anything, let's get Valen up top. Oh, boy. Um... Okay. We've got multiple Arthrons. Gunners, from the looks of them. And at least two Sirens. No viral mutations, though, so we don't need to prioritize capturing them. Yeah, I think we're better off just killing these things before they get close. I'm here. On the bright side, we uh, actually chose a good place to hole up. Looks like we've got a fair amount of distance between us and the active threats. Let's just get ourselves set up for now. We won't do anything crazy just yet. Uh, 
Ah, perfect. Nicely done, Mark. Five by five. Let's see what Eovtar can do. I'd prefer a headshot, but we'll take what we can get. Off to a good start here, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. On my way. Oh, shoot, we've got a ping inside. Okay, that is a rifle-toting triton. Thank goodness we caught that. He's got cloaking, so we need to make sure we're adjacent. We'll go for the elbow, disable that rifle. Nice. Now let's have someone finish him off. All right, well, Leroy's closest, so we'll bring him over. Okay, <laughs> let's hope there aren't any others hiding nearby. I am a little worried we've got something. Oh, geez, are you kidding me? Hold on, we need to check the back door. Oh my goodness, they are not messing around. Well, crisis averted. All set. Still, I can't believe they started us literally flanked by sirens. Let's see what else they throw at us. Okay, they're going after civilians. I can live with that. Triton, Bulldog Goss Rifle. Arthron Gunner, and a building full of civilians.
my. All right, unless my count is off, that is five Arthrons, one Triton, and three Sirens. Not counting the two guys we've already killed. We might actually be in a little over our heads here. Well, let's start thinning them out. The civilians will just have to fend for themselves. Hit. All right, Valen. I could really use a uh, long shot here. On my way. Nice try. At least you took out the wall. Let's get Eovtar up top and undercover. I'm here. Holding position. I hate to say it, but if we're lucky. They'll waste a turn slaughtering those civilians. Let's see if we can start carefully pushing to the left. That's just too risky. We'll hang back and cover the approaches. Hmm. I'd actually go for a mind control next turn. All right, Mike, I need you to run point for Nod.
Nice. <laughs> Didn't think the uh, civilian casualties would cost us well, but, um, yeah, lesson learned. All right, let's do some damage control. Thank you, Valen. Now, we have temporarily lost both snipers. But we do need to free up Mark, so let's take out that wounded siren. There we go. By my count, that leaves us four Arthrons, one Triton, and two Sirens. Succeeded. Nice. That'll slow him down. We've got two Arthrons and a Siren over here, but no clean approaches. No, that is still too risky. Let's pull our guys back and uh, we'll wait for them to get closer. Three Arthrons. And there goes the Oftar. Two sirens, right flank. Both snipers still neutralized. Yeah, first things first, let's get Mark patched. Got a visual. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. 
Siren number three, coming in hot. We've got this Arthron covering her, too. That makes this tricky. All right, let's take out Siren number one. Solid hits, not quite enough. Oh, right, right, let's get Mark patched. Nice, nice. That was a uh, priority, because he's stuck out in the open for another turn. He is going to draw more fire from that Triton. Now, let's see what we can do about that left flank. We do have a pretty good angle here. If we can get close enough, we might be able to grab that Arthron without setting off its overwatch. Oh, that is perfect. Shoot. Fired off the second burst while that thing was still flinching. That's fine. I think we've got this. There we go. Okay, okay. I think that leaves us with three Arthrons, one Triton, and two Sirens. You know what? I think it's time to pull out the big guns. A little sooner than expected, but like I said, they are not messing around. Be right there. Nope. Okay, Yovtar is free, but panicked. One siren left. Thank <laughs> you. 
Give me a minute. Oh, Eoftar, I really wish you hadn't done that. Okay, well, let's finish off the left flank. Or not. I may have jumped the gun there. Actually, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, we've got this. Whoops, I uh, actually thought he was out of ammo. He definitely is now. I think we can start going for captives now. Yeah, this guy is just a brawler, so no return fire. closer to that siren. By five. Mark, let's get you tucked somewhere safe. Okay, with any luck, we should be about to wrap this up. Providing Overwatch. Nice. Very nice. Well, that worked out pretty much perfectly. Uh, you know what? This last guy's about to bleed out, but we might be able to grab him.
Ah, and uh, it's over. I will admit, I was not expecting that much resistance. But hey, uh, looks like we kept a couple of people alive. We'll call that a win. Oh, nice. Nothing groundbreaking, but there is some stuff here we can actually use. All right, folks, <laughs> we are past the hour mark at this point, so I think we've reached a pretty good stopping point. Things didn't go quite as planned, but we did end up revealing our first Pandoran lair, and we grabbed our first siren earlier, too. So, uh, as usual, pretty solid progress all around. That said, we will hit the pause button for now. I'll take care of some uh, additional bookkeeping off screen. And we'll pick up here next time, as we take out that lair, and then start heading towards Australia. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Phoenix Point, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, the official Discord server, the official Facebook page, the official Twitter feed, or the original crowdfunding campaign over on FIG. Links are in the description. <laughs>